Time traveling and time machines have been a topic of science fiction and countless movies for many decades. In fact, it appears that the possibility to travel in time either into the future or into the past has appealed to the imagination of mankind for centuries. While many may think it's absurd to believe that we could travel back or forward in time, some of the world's most brilliant scientists have investigated whether it could one day be made into a reality. Albert Einstein, for example, concluded in his later years that the past, present, and future all exist simultaneously. And most are familiar with his well-known concept of relativity. That is, that time is relative and not absolute as Newton claimed. With the proper technology, such as a very fast spaceship, one person is able to experience several days while another person simultaneously experiences only a few hours or minutes. However, if time travel really was possible, one can hardly contemplate what this may mean for humanity, for whoever has the power to move through time has the power to modify history. While this may sound attractive, it would be impossible to know the consequences of any alteration of past events and how this would affect the future. If we look into ancient texts, we can find a number of references to time traveling. In Hindu mythology, there is the story of a king who travels to meet the creator, Brahma. Even though this trip did not last long when he returned back to Earth, 108 yugas has passed on Earth, and it is thought that each yuga represents about 4 million years. The explanation Brahma gave to the king is that time runs differently in different planes of existence. Similarly, in Buddhism, there is a booklet called A Tour to the Paradise of Ultimate Bliss. It states that while a monk was sitting in meditation, his primordial spirit went to the paradise of ultimate bliss. He spent one day there. When he returned to the human world, six years had passed. In a separate Buddhist text, it is written that time in the heavens passed differently than on earth. The tune of one day in heaven equals 100 years on earth. In recent history, probably the most well-known story of accidental time time travel, whether you choose to believe it or not, is the Philadelphia experiment which allegedly took place in 1943, with the purpose of cloaking a ship and making it invisible to enemy's radar. However, it was said that the experiment went terribly wrong. The ship not only vanished completely from Philadelphia, but it was teleported to Norfolk and went back in time for 10 seconds. When the ship appeared again, some crew members were physically fused to bulkheads, others developed mental disorders, a few disappeared appeared completely, and some reported traveling to the future and back. In 1960, we had another interesting case where a scientist named Ernetti claimed that he developed a machine that would enable someone to see into the past. He called this machine the chronovisor. His theory was that anything that happens leaves an energy mark that can never be destroyed. So he allegedly developed this machine that could detect, magnify, and convert this energy into an image, something like a TV showing what happened in the past. Some say after Ernetti died, an anonymous relative produced a confession from Ernetti that claimed that the chronovisor never existed. Existed. But Ernetti's close friend, Father Broom, claims that the confession is just a cover-up and that the chronovisor still exists today in the Vatican vaults. In the 1980s, there are reports of another controversial experiment, the Montauk Project, which again allegedly experimented with time travel among other things. Whether the Philadelphia and Montauk experiments actually took place is still under debate. However, it is common sense to assume that the military would definitely be interested in the possibility of time travel and would engage in extensive research on the subject. Even in the last few decades, researchers and the military have been trying to make time travel a reality. In 2004, Marlon Pullman, who holds a PhD and is a member of Mensa, applied for a patent for a method of gravity distortion and time displacement. Physics professor Ronald Lawrence Mallet of the University of Connecticut is working on the concept of time travel based on Einstein's theory of relativity and is absolutely convinced that time travel is feasible. He predicts that human time travel will be possible in our century. Particle physicist Brian Cox agree that time travel is possible, but only in one direction. And finally, we have the mysterious story of Ali Rezki, managing director of the Iranian Center for Strategic Inventions, who claimed that he developed a device that can see anywhere from 3 to 
five years in the future. His initial story disappeared from the internet a few hours after it was published. And of course, we did a video about the US military who were training psychic spies who were said to be able to see into any points in history. So in theory, time travel is possible, whether through the use of technology or perhaps by training our own minds. I could also see why this would be extremely dangerous as well. Think of all that could go wrong if that technology was used for, say, evil purposes or personal gains. And who knows? Think about this. What if history has already been changed and we're all living in some alternate universe with an alternate future? All right, guys, let me know your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.